I think people don't realize they rely on weather radar data that's run by the National Weather Service every day, you know, especially in severe weather season. And since we rely on it, you, you tend to take it for granted sometimes. Dr. Bob Palmer is the new director of the National Weather Center. Prior to that, he oversaw the team of researchers who designed and built a weather radar that's in a league of its own. Are we seeing raindrops, liquid raindrops? Are we seeing hail? Lead engineer David Schwartzman showed me exactly how this new radar, nicknamed Horus, works. Now instead of being a single antenna, you can see here each one of these little squares is a different antenna element. Mm -hmm. Now the main difference is when you have 64 in this case wow. of these little antenna elements, you can control each one of them individually and instead of just forming a single beam to scan the atmosphere, you can form multiple beams in different directions. This means we can receive radar updates every 15 to 20 seconds. Compared to current radar technology, which updates every five minutes, that's 15 times faster and the results will be life-saving. When you're thinking of a tornado that's moving so fast and now you're thinking you're only gonna see the tornado, let's say, every five minutes, mm -hmm. it can be in a completely different place after that's five true. minutes. Mm -hmm. But if you're looking at it every 15 seconds, like you this. can get a much more accurate representation of what the storm is doing. And not only is their radar a scientific feat, but it's more resilient than the machinery used in today's weather radars. That's why a radar like Horus could one day be the future radar of the National Weather Service.